down level three, step four, come after. The dog downs and stays down while you walk out of the dog's sight, stay out for 30 seconds and return. One distraction. Then take it to different places and different distractions. I'm probably out of Lily's sight at this point. And then when I get downstairs, I actually entered into a real-life conversation with Lucy that took me longer than I had planned. So what was intended to be a 30-second out of sight exceeded that. Also, the distraction was our conversation and Lily's ability to hear our voices. In step three, the dog downs and stays while you go out of her sight, stay out for 30 seconds and return. But there are no distractions involved here. There's only one new thing in step four, and that's the distraction. As usual, you want to pick something that actually is a distraction for your dog, and at the same time, you want her to be able to think through it and get the behavior right. In addressing the distraction, you need to ladder it. Start, as always, with something easy and build up. When she makes a mistake, shoot down and start again. That means moving the distractions further from the dog or making it a little quieter or less abrupt. Remember, you want to test her resolve, but not convince her that she can't handle the problem. In the come afters, we're just adding different places and different distractions. And we're going outside. In the execution of today's exercise and yesterday's focus from the balcony, both occasions I exceeded the criteria of the step. It's going to be really important for me to remember to set Lily up for success as we move further and further into public and increase the challenges of the distractions and reteach this in every new environment until she has the confidence that she needs. <laughs>